Hi guys, let's now discuss the ASOC function. So the definition of ASOC is it searches an association list for an element and returns that association list entry. So in our example we have a list of the following lists. We have the name John, we have the age 25, and we have also a list of height, which is 6.0. So this is our list which we stored in an, in the LST variable. If we now use the ASA command in that list, let's say we get the association list of age from the LST variable, we've got the age 25. If we get the ASOC of the name, the association list of the name from the LST variable, we get the name John. However, if let's say we put a width here, which doesn't exist, we should get a nil value. We get the height which exists and we should get the association list of the height. Okay, now let's apply that into the definition data of the line. We have here the line. Let me get the association list of that line. I will store the, I mean, let's get the definition data of that line. Let me store it in a variable a and get of and last. So this is now our a. So all we have to do is specify the first element. Basically this is the key. So if we get the ASOC of, let's say, the, the handle, number 5, ASOC 5 of A, it should give us the association list of 5. If we get the starting point of the line, which is the 10, all you have to do is association list of 10 from our variable A. That's, that's how easy it is. All you have to do is specify the, the code or the DXF uh, group code. Let's say for the endpoint, the 11, all we have to do is association 11 of our variable. See? That's it for ASOC. As simple as that.